Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, Nez Porter. Today, we're gonna change out a um, diaphragm for a saloon, flush armor or flush valve. Whichever one, most people call them flush armors. I call them flush armors. It is a flush valve as well. So, this is what we have here. We have a saloon, water closet, flush armor repair kit. Now you can get these in different gallons per flush, but I think this is a three to six gallon flush right here. Um, they give it a, quite a bit of water. So the customer was having a um, weak flush. When you flush it, it was very weak. So show you the steps what we gotta do to change this bad boy out. First things first, take this off. That's where your water shut off valve is. So get your little wrench, kind of snug it off. And you get your flathead. Stick it's a slot it. You just stick it in there and turn it until you make sure it's off. Now that's off. Make sure there's no water passing through there. Take off this top piece right here. They do make a special tool for it, but seeing that it's all jagged up, we're just gonna use a chin up lock. Take that bad boy off right there. Now this is where it gets kind of gunky. This is gonna be dirty and mushy, so let's see how this thing looks inside here. This thing is old. See all that? So that, I don't know if you guys can see it. That's, that's all damaged. That's bad. Um, let's take that out. See what we're working with here. If I can get it out. Hold on. If I have to kind of pry it away a little because it is rubber and it's kind of pressed in there. And I'm trying to do it one handed too. Wow, look at that. Yeah, let's take all that out of there. Let's get all this out of here. Whoops. I'm trying not to get those pieces to fall down there because they're very small. <sighs> if it does go down there, it's not a major thing. It will push through. It, well, it should push through. Um, it's not going to cause any significant damage. Um, let's get the new kit. Let's drop this. Drop that in there like that. This little flat piece in there, like that. Make sure it's nice and sitting on there snug. I'm gonna put the cap back on. This cap doesn't have to be all that tight. Um, it couldn't hurt to put like a little plumbus grease around it so it doesn't bind up. But let's get this snugged up pretty snug. The object of the game is you don't want any water passing through. You don't want it to just come off. Just kind of snug it like that. Just turn the water on and see what the water is doing. Make sure you've got no leaks. And then see some water leaking. That's probably why they had it so tight. Well, maybe it's not doing it now, though. It just stops. So let's see. I can always snug it up more. I see a little bit, a little couple of drips come out of there. Let's give it a flush and see if we got a good flush. a weak flush. Could be something else going on. Hmm. Maybe, maybe something else going on here. We just changed up the diaphragm. Let's see what we got going on here. Could be could be bogged up with air too. Still a weak flush going on there. There's a, there's a, there is a piece that comes in here too, but I don't know why. I don't have that pot with me right now. Let's see. Hit the water passing. 
it's not passing it's not passing at a good rate though that's the problem so let's see we got the valve is fully open the other thing too is they could have the water pressure down below too low and that could be an issue I might have to check that out Cause this, this definitely should give you a higher flush than that take a look at one more thing let's see how much water is going to the bowl when I actually do that Not much water passing through at all. Well, guys, I'm, I'm gonna shut this off and do some work on this and figure out what's going on. I it's not the handle because the handle is is it is engaging. I might have to take this back off and make sure there's no debris stuck in there. All right, guys. Okay, guys, I took it apart, I put it back together. What I found out what was going on, I think this was bogged up with air. So I, I, I just cleaned it out, filled it with water nice and slow, then tightened the cap as I was filling it. And now it's, it's fluffing. So I, did, I, I wish I could have did it. I, I wish I could have did it with the video on, but all I did was I shut this water off. I took this back apart. I disassembled everything I had inside here. Um, put it back together, but as I was filling this up, I didn't let the air get out of it and didn't tighten it all the way down. So now it's working fine. That's, that's, a, that's, that's how it was. That little, that might be that valve. I can check that out too. But now it's working good. Hey guys. Now we gotta clean up this mess I made over here. You know, that's all. That's, that's the uh, that's the least of my worries. Little saw the black rubber from the um, from this thing. This thing here is is you should have gloves, but I'm so used to it I don't bother. But all that metal things there are gone. This probably hasn't been done in a while. I think the last time this was done was like three or four years ago. Um, maybe longer. I I think I'm the one who did it originally. Um, so that's what you got. We just changed this saloon valve out. I'm going to wash my hands and get the heck up out of here. Catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.